yet and it's got a little bit worse. Still blinking raining. Oh, something a bit different. A Jaguar I-Pace. Hi guys, welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing and UK One Wheel channel. Now, um, yes, the weather is absolutely atrocious. It is raining cats and dogs here and it has been pretty much, uh, should I say, uh, for the last four or five days and it's going to over the weekend and that's when I would normally go out and ride my one wheel up the forest, my, as I call my summer days snowboarding um, and obviously with this COVID-19 everything is obviously a little bit weird for all of us um, but obviously a little bit more about me, um, I myself run uh, or should I say work for a company called JLR, Jaguar Land Rover and I have done for 26 years of my life so pretty much, well pretty much my whole working career uh, and I've been very fortunate to drive some phenomenal cars so i just thought i'd do a quick review of the jaguar i-pace so this is a jaguar i-pace it's currently only done 70 miles um this is my new company car um and it's very nice to have as a company car and i've ridden uh sure say driven um multiple land rover vehicles throughout my career um and my previous car was a hybrid range Rover sport so i know a little bit around the electric side of things so i just thought i'd do um a little bit like what well, the EV side. If you haven't seen his channel, go and check him out on YouTube. Um, really cool guy. Uh, does all sorts of things around electric. So, so Jaguar I-Pace got some phenomenal little features on here. One of my little favorites is the clear rear sight mirror. Now that is a video camera on the back of the car. If I flip this toggle here, there is a rear view mirror. There's my one wheel logo there on the back of my phone. Cool man. But that is what I would normally see out the back of my rear view on a miserable day like today. What you do is flick the switch, boom. It uses a camera on the GPS antenna um, and that camera there obviously is a, uh, a very clever camera. It kind of stays as dry as possible, but you can see everything that's going on behind you. And that also works in conjunction then um, a little bit with the new PIVI Pro system that Jaguar Land Rover have fitted to uh, pretty much all their cars, other than Range Rover, Range Rover Sport currently, but that will be coming. Um, so if we just push cameras just here, we've got 360 cameras. So there is my car, if I put my foot on the brake, brake lights come on, that's quite cool. Um, and you can actually select this from around the car. So we want to look at the front. Now that is pretty cool. From the front, that side. There's a car going by. We're going to be on the front cameras. So that's basically the front two cameras pointing out left and right. So for junction view, then you have a full frontal camera. We have a rear camera again for junction view, reversing out as well as a rear camera. And then you can pull it up like so. If I were to open a door, the doors open. So very quickly, I'm just going to open my driver's door on this miserable day. There we go. There's a door open. I'm going to shut it. That's quite cool. Uh, that's a really cool feature. That's on the new PIVI Pro system, 360 surround cameras. Now this model I'm in is a HSE model. Um, other cool features on here are all your electric distribution modes. So we've got all your battery just here and it shows you the drive line when driving along um, what the actual back battery is doing. Now we've got winter settings here and all sorts of things that we can change through the toggle switch just here. And it takes you through all your different options eco and so forth and there we go winter mode so it's been selected uh, low traction launch so you don't wheel spin away if it was icy you can actually turn that on again that comes across on the land rover product as well we've got heated front and rear seats just in here so we go to heated seats there are my front seats these dials and twist and you can choose your temperature for hot or you can choose your temperature for cold and then if i wish to i can switch back to climate back to seats and then obviously to the rear seats has an intelligent climate climate system in this car here now it knows that only the driver is sat in the car so it's actually only putting the heat and warmth to just the driver to save electricity uh, basically on the vehicle and obviously to obviously give you as much usage out of the battery as possible there's my full ev range again we've got another setup there we've got 174 miles of range 
um, we've got my charge cycle which is just there we can obviously pre vehicle preconditioning and we've got preferred charge time so i can actually charge it if you're running economy 7 etc obviously in your home um, so you get best uh, charging for your bang for your buck i suppose is what you would say um, which is really cool back to home so this is the new pivy pro system very quick very simple we've got your favorite music channels just here we've got your phone systems we've got your navigation and again ev uh, ev stations if you're looking for ev stations this is all run off a of built-in data sim that comes in the car and that will basically means you can search the internet you can actually look on the maps it pulls this information up for you. you've got food restaurants home we can change then to gps just here um it's just loading um so yeah you've got lots of different modes we've obviously got 3d mode north so it, you can actually change it so the camera and everything all moves there we go so there's your 3d mode just there 2d and then back to gps what you've also got on the car you switch across gives you full data so i've got my air conditioning on and my heated seat on so we're actually um would gain an extra 17 miles of range if we were to turn all that off. It tells me obviously how many miles I've got left. My driving style is 42%, 59.2 kilowatts per hour, because obviously not miles per gallon, um, because miles per gallon is obviously in a petrol car um, or a diesel car. So we've got 59.3 uh, miles per gallon. Up onto the main speedo, you can actually change all this speedo. So you can go, I've got heads up display, which you can't quite see, which is just there. You just wipe the windows. So we've got full heads up display on there telling me the 60 is the mile um, speed limit that I'm actually on. Traffic sign recognition is what they call that. I've got telephone prompting on here as well as navigation, which you can choose. You can adjust the height of the um, heads up display and the brightness, um, as well as you can change the brightness of the main screen just here. And obviously that can be white or black and you can choose different backgrounds which is really cool but onto the main uh screen here we've obviously got uh, this single dial which i quite like um we've also got if i quickly click left here we've got the right uh sorry left and right instrument panel so basically the left being the left the right being the navigation you, you can see just there and then we've got layout and we've got two dials is this there and you can have obviously navigation in the middle we can go to full map which is a really nice feature so if i just quickly come back off of this there we go so we've got full map um i've just touched voice recognition there so it's got voice recognition so you can dial phone etc we're just going to cancel that by simple touch of the steering wheel back into and radio stations so if we to quickly go back into here we're going to change the dials back again so layout you can have media driving assistance but i like the single dial i think that's quite a nice little touch so i'm going to go into that and just change that from the scroll button which is just here so you push select again and you scroll and you push again that changes the dial other nice features we've got heated steering wheel we've got um, cruise control um, with adaptive cruise so you can keep the distance from the vehicle in front of you speed limiting um, that's a lovely little feature if you're caught in a, um, a what they call uh, over in England here we have uh, speed zones so basically between point to point you've got to be averaging a certain speed or you have traffic or motorway works and it tells you it's dropped from 70 down to 40 or 50. You can actually set a limiter. And we've got keep lane assist. So we can put this on here and that will read the markings on the left and right hand side of the road and actually vibrate the steering wheel, um, telling you that you've crossed that white line without indicating. If you indicate, then obviously it takes the vibration away. So basically it'll uh, monitor your driving and tell you if you need to pull over for a coffee, which is a lovely, lovely touch. Nice little feature for this horrible weather day is a heated steering wheel. Again, going back onto here now, obviously it's showing now I've got potentially 90 miles because obviously I'm using additional features in the car. So another great little feature just there as well. Um, settings within um, the electric mode here, we can have vehicle creeping. So basically like an automatic. Um, once you've got your foot on the brake, it will hold the vehicle and then you tap the accelerator slowly and then the vehicle will creep like an automatic. You can turn that on and off and regenerate, regenerate, let me say that again, regenerative braking. Crikey, get my tongue in this morning. Um, high or low, that means basically when you take your foot 
off the accelerator, it would de-accelerate quite aggressively, but obviously charging your battery up. So I've just come off the motorway section, which I've just put my foot down. Okay, again, this thing really does perform extremely well. Um, we've actually generated point, uh, 1.0 kilowatts per hour. That's what's gone back into uh, the battery. Uh, and we've used 51.9 kilowatts per 100 miles if I carried on driving the way I was driving. Average speed uh, was 16 miles an hour because it's a very short, sharp blip. And obviously I've covered five miles, um, obviously over that duration. Um, so yeah, like I can say, I cannot talk more highly of this car. It is just phenomenal. We have uh, in control up here, so SOS for emergency services. We have Jaguar Assist, which is a button just under here that opens up, so that'll call Jaguar Assist. And you get this three years from the manufacturer's warranty on the car, and it's extendable for another year if you wish to have it, for about 36 pounds. We've got touch lighting just here, which is a lovely little touch. We've got the ebony headlining, just zoom back out one more time. And we've got a beautiful panoramic roof reaching all the way back to the back of the car. That really does open up the vehicle. Ebony headlining looks really, really slick in here. We've got beautiful piano wood just over there. We've got memory seats just over there with a full Meridian audio system. The audio system is fantastic. Unfortunately, I can't show that because obviously for um, music copyright, otherwise I'll turn that on. Um, actually, if I turn it on very quickly and turn it down, that would be a good little uh, rouge. Go back onto home menu. Um, we scroll back over here. Um, what we've got on there. So we can go into favourites. We can go across Radio 1, say. And then what we can then do is go into ooh, is that all? Yeah, settings. Audio. So we've got the full Meridian audio system there with surround sound stereo bass you can actually optimally change where you want the music so i always put it to the headrest of the driver and then all the sound will come to my head to give me maximum sound because i tend to be on the car in the car on my own obviously there's your dab radio linking the vehicle did come up last night with an update so it came up on the screen the vehicle requires an update would you like to shut down the car will update will start once the vehicle is locked um, and obviously it exited. So I did that and set that off and that updated when I got in the car, it was all updated. Um, I can also set up my own personal profile in the car, which I've not yet done, but I will be doing that very, very shortly. Um, but all in all, some fantastic technology in this Privy Pro. And I will say it's ever so slick and ever so easy to use. So if anybody's got one of these, you want any questions answered, like again, I've worked for Jaguar Land Rover now for 26 years. Um, and I'll be more than happy to obviously give you my email. And we can obviously talk any questions you've got through because I'm based in Exeter in Devon. And like I say, I do um, absolutely love the product. Just in here as well, I have a wireless charging. So I put my phone in here and that wirelessly charges. Um, but all in all, around all round and about, it is a phenomenal car. A little quick instruction on how you'd pull away in an I-Pace. There's no engine noise, so it does feel a little bit weird. It tells you I've got 73%, 171 miles of battery. I've jumped in the vehicle. Preconditioning is now on. And basically, I've got a new software ready to update, which is just here. Now, I'm not going to update that now. I'm not going to schedule it. I'm just going to get rid of it. But you can actually schedule an update. But the vehicle does need to be locked. It's going to take 20 minutes um obviously to do um so what i'm going to do is just exit straight out of that and what i'm going to do is put my foot on the brake and i'm going to hit the start button everything then wakes up and it's simple as pushing d for drive that is it and then what you do is put your wipers on so you can see where you're going and then you would simply pull away and off you go Okay guys, so I drove on a little bit further because the weather was awful, so it's literally just a break in the weather, so I just thought I'd pull over. Now this is an I-Pace HSE in Barasco Grey with a black pack, standard 20 inch black alloy there, running at a Goodyear Eagle Sport tyre. We've got the black detent down there on the bottom of the door, and all the window frame just here is also black. So all this area here is black, but that was really good. Simple. is the GPS antenna and that is where that camera is located. If I quickly just show you, just 
in here. That's where the camera's located for the rear view mirror. And again, the black detent on the rear spoiler, as much as the black badging here on the back of the car. I think it really does set it off lovely. We've got a lovely diffuser just down the bottom here. Very aggressive looking. Um, it has a fitment. We've got electric tailgate. Um, there we go. And then we've got the rear view camera just here. And that does all those angle views, etc. Rear parking aid. Um, we've got a load through just there on the boot. And again, like I say, storage compartment just here 12 volt socket the batteries are basically the whole floor pan of the car um, and you've got this, this severical motor mostly in the back and the front and obviously it will tell you on that uh, pivi pro where the power is being distributed is it going to be rear is it going to be front and obviously how it's loaded um, so you do get really good well uh, really good traction uh, at all times with this we have electric tailgate button obviously in the inside of the car as well to open that up. The handles are cool because they pop in and pop out. And would you believe Jaguar Land Rover have tested these handles here. Even when it's been covered in ice, they still pop out. Um, we've just got on the mirrors here. There is your additional camera just there on the bobble. You can't quite see it, but again, black detents on the bottom of the door mirrors. We have a charging socket here now that can charge on both 50 kilowatt 100 kilowatt 7 11 kilowatt there is for your higher adjustment as uh, we say higher charging sorry uh, when you pull the bottom pin out otherwise this is a standard pin that you'd get in most car parks um, and on the new this is the 11 kilowatt system we've got a release button just here to power charger this is a 21 model year so this is the latest model year just out that is your charging light and it gives you all your charging indicators when flashing green is charging fully charged blues time charging obviously when it's doing it's what they call um, isolation tests it flashes white and obviously red is when you've got an issue but again very simple very easy to use we also do have uh, a nice big air scoop just here and we have Call it a funk i'm not quite sure but we call it a bonnet here in england you call it obviously a hood in america but there's actually storage under there as well as but again smoked finish there to the front badge and we've got all your detents on the front spoiler which are all black with a nice little air scoop that feeds into the brakes they've got the led jaguar lighting just here with signature lighting and now this has a pixel led headlights which shadows out the object that's coming towards you to give you a full beam all the time and that is phenomenal at night um until you've driven a car at night with that on you wouldn't want to go back to standard headlights we've got crushed led headlighting or rear lights there on the back as well as as well as obviously directional indicators um but yeah all in all like i said i've worked for jaguar lander over a long long time but i've never really got up close to an i-pace let alone drive one and be given one as a company car very fortunate Again, there is your all-wheel drive functionality just there. So straight off the hip, I like to do things as first impressions so you know how I feel with something like this straight off the bat as an honest opinion. Just into here. We have, we have a lovely little uh, indicator here. So if there is a vehicle close uh, coming up this side of the car, that light inside I've just showed you will flash telling you there's a cyclist or a vehicle approaching fast and that's picked up from the mirrors from the cameras located underneath There we go, Jaguar I-Pace. Would I buy one, first impressions? Do you know what? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay guys, thank you ever so much indeed for tuning in once again. This is uh, Tony from Ride Right Waxing and UK One Wheel signing off, but from Jaguar I-Pace from a little bit different on this very wet and miserable day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.